Low Dragons again. We're going to go ahead and convert a JPEG image over to a DXF file so that way we can cut it in our uh, plasma table. So what you do is first you got to bring in, in the image that you want. Um, so you go to file, open, and then you bring your file wherever you have it. Save that, save that. So I'm going to be cutting the Yankees logo. So once you bring the file in, this is a, a JPEG file. Um, I saved it off the internet. Once you have it on Inkscape, what you do is you click on it, you go to Path, and you go to Trace Bitmap. Once you do that, you're going to go over to your right hand side. This is going to come up, and I usually change it. On the brightness uh, threshold, I put it at five. You can go a little bit higher. Uh, it seems whenever they're black and white, the images work better when you put it at five. When they're lighter, you can play with this. You can go down um, till you get the actual image that you need. Just play with that. But if it's just like a standard black and white image, you'll be able to uh, put it at five and bring it out pretty easy. So once again, you bring it in, pass. Trace bitmap, five, and then you click on it and you press apply. Once that loads right there, that's how it's going to look. So you go back over here and you click on that highlighted image and you take it out. Now you have two images here. One is the one that's converted over to the DXF and the other one is the one you brought in. So you have to delete the first one, which is this one. Sometimes they'll look the same because it's black. And the way you know which one you have to delete is if you go over to the uh, notes. And you see how this one highlights. It'll highlight red right there. Or you click on it, you see the notes. So this is the one you want. The original one, you can go ahead and delete it. So once you have that right here, you can go ahead and, and scale it now, which whatever... Uh, size you want you want it now in this case let's say I want to make it three inches high so I'll change this to inches and then you got your width and you, you got your height so I want to make it three inches high and I want everything else to, to you know scale accordingly so I'll go ahead and lock it and when I'll change this to three inches I'll press enter and it'll change everything accordingly so now you have your um, file uh, ready to go now this is something that you can do real fast if you want to clean it up the less notes you have the better of course uh, so you know what you can do is you can go in here and delete them you just click on them and delete them individually uh, sometimes when you delete them the image changes you just got to be real careful um, but in straight edges like this one, like see from here to here, you can erase this one, delete it, and it'll make a better cut pass. Or if you have notes that are real close by, you can also delete them. Um, in this case, let's say you were done uh, cleaning up your notes. The way you save it is you go to File, Save As. And then you're going to save it under DXF, Yankees logo. Uh, save it wherever you need to save it at. And you're done.